Welcome back to another deep dive with Colin. There was a special request to talk about squeegees, squeegee gerometer, uh, general angle that uh, you would use each squeegee. And then I'm gonna add in the types of printing that you will typically see done with each squeegee type. Um, first, let's start with uh, squeegee gerometer numbers. Uh, squeegees can be anywhere as low as 40, although that's very uncommon, extremely soft. Typically for screen printing, we're gonna see them start off at about a 60 durometer, and then we're gonna see them in increments all the way up to around an 80 durometer. For us, the most commonly used squeegee is a 70 durometer. And I have the most common ones that are used here. This, the white one, is a 60, and you can see it bends quite easily. It's very soft. If we were to do a squeegee bend, it bends over really easy. And then the next one we have here is a 65, 90, 65. Then your standard 70, your standard 70, 90, 70, and then an 80 durometer. As far as colors go, you're gonna see a lot of different colors available from different distributors. If you buy enough at a time, you can request whatever color you want in a squeegee blade. So it's not uncommon to see yellow 70 durometers, even orange 70 durometers. So don't let color of blade fool you into what, you know, thinking what it is. Always double check on the blade itself. Let's see if I have any with writing here. Of course, I picked ones. There we go. We have it right there. You'll find writing on these. Um, depending on where you get it in a squeegee blade, um, it'll actually tell you what the durometer of that squeegee is. Just little things that you can look for. Um, but where do we use the different squeegee durometer types? Well, a 60 durometer or a 65, 90, 65 is a softer squeegee blade. I showed you bending this one. This one you can bend pretty easy as well. But that white center, mar uh, that white center to the triple durometer, that's a very stiff blade. That's a 90 durometer blade. So what the softer outside gives you is a little bit more of a bend when you're going over uh, the print or when you're going over the print area. So what it will do, instead of cutting or shearing the ink, it'll kind of roll over it a little bit. Now, we talked about cutting and shearing ink. What does that really mean? When you're pulling your squeegee over your image area, depending on your angle, depending on the sharpness of your squeegee blade, and how much, of course, downforce you're using, you're either going to see uh, a little bit of ink left over behind the squeegee, if you were to rub your finger on the screen, you would have ink transfer onto your finger, or it's gonna be cut very clean, where you can rub aggressively and you're not gonna have any ink come off, on, come off of that screen onto your finger. You want to use uh, both an angle um, and pressure that's going to cut and shear. But what softer squeegee blades do is as it's going over the print area, it kind of rides up a little bit. So as it's, as it's traveling along, it'll kind of bump up a little bit over that print area and lay down a little bit extra ink where a harder squeegee is gonna maintain its shape and, and cut and shear very sharply. So to recap, when we're talking about squeegee angle with uh, any kind of squeegee, the further over we're going, the more we're going to start to hydroplane over the ink. The further up towards straight up you know, a zero degree angle, the more we're going to shear and cut that ink, just like a pair of scissors. While a 60 durometer squeegee is gonna be a bit more like a dull pair of scissors, and an 80 durometer squeegee, which is very, very stiff, very hard, is going to be more like a very sharp pair of scissors. As this travels over the screen, you get very little ink going through and a very hard shear. So. When we're talking about the softer squeegee blades, and as we are trying to figure out our angle, it's always good to stay in between that uh, zero, straight up, 45, 
come up a little bit and get a little bit of a bend in here. That downward pressure riding on that edge of your blade, it's going to allow that ink to shear and cut really nicely. But because of the softness of the squeegee blade, you're actually get, you're going to get that heavier deposit that you want. And then of course, if you want to get that really fine little bit of extra ink down, you could of course can always turn it over to 45, really light pressure. Just be very careful because if you leave too much ink in your screen, it doesn't necessarily clear the screen. So pressure and combination of angle is really important. Something that you may have noticed is that the sequential numbers amongst all the squeegees, the lower the number, the softer the squeegee blade. The higher the number, the harder the squeegee blade. So what kind of prints do we do with these softer squeegee blades? We primarily want to do heavier ink deposits like puff. So as we can see here, I've got a, a really good print. This is something we've been doing in our screen print experience class for the last few months. Uh, it's a fan favorite. And this is two colors, a gold and an orange, printed wet on wet. It's a great introdu introduction for the class for wet on wet printing. Coming back over with the black, and that black is through a 110 mesh. And we have a very thick stencil on here. Uh, for those who know EOM, this is 110% EOM. So the emulsion thickness is about twice as much as what the actual uh, mesh thickness is. So we get a lot of ink down. And in the class, we give them a 65-90-65 squeegee. And they hold it at about, right about there, which, right, you know, good angle, it's about that 45. And we tell them to try and get a little bit more pressure out of it. And then with getting the pressure, they usually come up right about there. And they'll do two, maybe three print strokes. And this is the amount of puff that comes out of it. Using those softer blades will give you that heavier deposit of ink that you want, especially for something like puff. So after puff, after those heavier ink deposits, we have prints, very standard spot color. And for that, you can use either one of these, the 6590 or the 70 durometer. If you are looking at just getting good basic coverage of black ink on a white shirt or a color on a light colored garment, Either one of these squeegee types is going to work great. The 659065 with that slightly softer edge is going to give you a thicker ink deposit compared to the 70 durometer edge just because of its softness. As long as the angles are equivalent and the pressure is equivalent between these two, this one will give you a slightly heavier deposit. Great for printing white ink, by the way. So, and of course, the 70 is the workhorse of our industry. If you're ever unsure on what squeegee to grab, start with the 70. You're like, hey, that ink film is too thin. Go to a softer squeegee blade. Hey, my ink film is too heavy. My halftones are disappearing. Go to a harder squeegee blade. But you can see here, in both of these designs, we used a 70 durometer squeegee. We got great coverage in black. Again, this is another uh, class print. I just went upstairs and grabbed one of the prints that somebody did, brought it down here to show you guys. And this, of course, is uh, a bar FN Barrier Black. So Barrier Black through a 110, uh, FN Colors through 156, the uh, white through a 156, sorry, and then the colors were through 230s. I just went ahead and used 70 durometer squeegees for all of them. So that is these two squeegee blades, 65-90-65, which is great for leaving, laying down good ink deposits, but still maintaining some control, and the 70 durometer, which is the workhorse. After that, we're going to start talking about very stiff squeegee blades. This is that 70 on the outside, 90 in the middle, and then a 70 and of course the 80 durometer. The 80 durometer is almost always used as a graphics uh, application squeegee. So if you're doing paper printing, or if you're doing uh, printing on metals or other 
uh, usually non plastisol inks. This is where this squeegee lives. It is used sometimes when you're doing very high detail. So we have a sim process print here. You may have seen this in the sim process videos that we've been showing as part of the advanced Photoshop class. In that video, you saw me using a 70, 90, 70 for all of my squeegees except for the white where I used a 70 durometer. This 70 edge is a little bit harder than of course the 65 durometer edge or the 60 durometer edge. So this allows for better ink control and shear, allowing for a thinner and smaller ink deposit in comparison to the other squeegee blades. That 90 gives me a stiffer spine, so when I apply pressure, that squeegee doesn't bend as far, but the downward force is applied directly to the print itself. So you get really good solid contact with the squeegee like this. This now allows for a really good flood and a really good hard shear, a very good cut of that ink. Uh, like again, really good pair of scissors, making a cut very clean. Proper edge sharpness of your blade leaves no ink behind as you're pulling your squeegee. If I was to rub the screen with my finger, grab a, a white piece of cloth and rub it, I'd have almost no ink whatsoever transfer over and off onto my finger or the fabric. Good hard blade, the 90 spine, and a sharp blade will give you a fantastic deposit that allows you to do prints like this. There are instances where you will have a high enough detailed design where you will need something like an 80, uh, an 80 durometer blade. So if we were to use, ha have something like this, but running to a 65, 70, 80 line or something that's like a 300 DPI bitmap, something with crazy resolution where you're like, I have to make sure every dot lays down perfect. Using a blade like this will allow for that ink to have absolutely zero roll, for that, for that squeegee to have absolutely zero rollover on that ink deposit. It just cuts it as thin as your stencil is. Making, uh, and what that does is it really controls your ink deposit, controls your dot gain, and allows for a truer and allows for a truer representation of your print on the shirt. And that squeegee's in a nutshell. It's a very large nutshell, but that's the basics. That's the basics that you would want to know about squeegees and where you're going to use a squeegee in your regular print life, your regular print cycles. You have a basic spot color job coming up, grab a 70 or, or grab a 65, 90, 65 or a 70 durometer squeegee. Got something really soft, like a gel or a puff, super heavy ink deposit, low mesh counts, grab a 60. Doing something with a lot more detail, grab a nice 70, 90, 70. Thanks for watching our deep dive with Colin. We cover squeegee durometers, angles, and types of prints that you will do with your squeegees. If you have any questions on what we talked about today, something I didn't give you enough information on, leave that question down below. If there was anything in here that you think maybe I missed and you want me to touch on, leave a comment below. If there's anything that you would like to see us talk about next, you know the drill, leave a comment below. Thanks for watching guys, we'll see you in the next one.